Hello guys, it's Modesty. I look like a hot bucket of trash. My intro is always, I look like trash. I look like crap. Well, today I really do. Why have I not bathed? We're gonna recreate Beetlejuice. One of my favorite YouTubers, I really don't know how to say her name. I think it's like, it's her. Cut. I don't, anyway, I don't know. I'm sorry if I butchered that. I'm awful with names. She posted a video, her first Halloween look of this year, and it was a glam Beetlejuice. And I've seen this like a while, but like hers, it wasn't necessarily like big and it was like just kind of sleek. And hmm. and I've watched this video several times to learn how to do it. And one of the things was her hair was very greasy and she said she did not shower, so that's what I did. I also moved my ring light like closer into the side, but still had it to where you could see all of like the backdrop without it getting any of the other sides in. And I kind of like it better because I, I, when I do like any look like this, I like to be really, really close so I can grab stuff. And I think I like it a lot better. So if it's working for y'all, it's definitely working for me. Do I think what I'm going to do in her video, I'm going to do when I see how it goes and then come back and explain what I did. And I'm of course going to link her because she's amazing. I love her. Basically just going to recreate her look because a lot of people have actually said this. That they wanted me to do this. So, I'll do that. It was so weird for me to do this off first because I always do this off first. But I thought it'd be easier if I turned this way. You could see it better if I did it. Yeah. And I also wanted to make it more dramatic. Hers is a lot more like an oval shape. I wanted to wing it out. So I did. And I didn't want as much white. I wanted it more purple. Because when I think of Beetlejuice, I think of, I don't know, purple and green. So the first thing I'm going to be doing is I'm going to take the lightest and widest concealer I have. This is the Juvia's Place Shade 24 Concealer. And I'm going to prime my lids. This is a very, very white. This is why I don't use it normally under my under eyes because it's so white and I don't want flashback. But um, I'm just going to take this and prime my lids and I'm going to be extending it out past my eyebrows since we are winging it out. Ignore me breaking out and my skin being so red. I have been eating so much like just chocolate and bad stuff lately. So my face hasn't had time to recuperate. Recoup my face hasn't had time to recoup basically and we're getting her there. I am not setting this concealer just so it makes the purples pop a lot more. The first brush I'm going to be taking is going to be the Morphe X Jeffree Star JS10. This was honestly the perfect brush to pack that purple on. And I'm going to be taking the Morphe uh, 39, 39S palette that has a lot of beautiful purples. I'm going to be taking this deepest, darkest shade in this palette. I'm going to be packing this purple onto the outer corner. I'm going to be first taking this color and just making an oval shape. So when we have no product left, we can kind of make that winged out effect. After all that's packed on, I'm gonna be taking a Morphe X Jeffree Star JS6, and I'm going to be blending this out, just the rest of that product out. But I'm gonna go really light-handed because I don't wanna go too far up because we're gonna be blending another color in. And don't worry too much about how it looks now because we're gonna be adding that shade again several times to make it as dark as we want it to be. I'm gonna be taking a Morphe M506. It's a very small detailed brush. And I'm gonna be taking Root Canal and the Jeffree Star Blood Sugar Palette. And I'm gonna be blending that out right on top of that color.
After I've blended and went, made that a wing, I'm going to be taking a Farah. This is a 10F concealer brush with that same concealer that we primed our lids with, and I'm just gonna be cutting our crease. I'm gonna be taking the white uh, shade from the Blood Sugar palette, and I'm gonna be taking a big fluffy brush and just basically setting all of that. I'm gonna be taking the same brush that we used to pack that light purple color on and blend it out right beside that color. The same small overbrush that we've been using to blend out that light purple, I'm gonna be adding a light pinky shimmer. Actually, this shimmer from the Morphe 39S palette, and I'm gonna be adding that where I added the light purple. I'm gonna be taking the same oval brush again, and I'm gonna be doing the under eye. I'm basically just gonna be repeating the steps that I used on the eyes. And I'm just gonna be connecting the wing up. I'm gonna take that oval brush and I'm gonna be taking that dark purple we've been using and I'm gonna pack it and try to manipulate the shape a little bit more to make it more of a wing. I'm gonna be taking the shade I'm Royalty in the Jeffree Star Liquid Lip Color. Uh, this is his Rainbow Collection. I'm gonna be taking his, what is this? Jeffree Star's, um, Morphe X Jeffree Star JS14. It is a small liner brush and I'm just gonna be adding this and using this for liner. I'm then gonna be taking the Wet n Wild um, Multi Stick and this is in the shade Lavender Bliss. I'm gonna be adding that to my waterline. And then I'm going to be adding some mascara and lashes and I'll be back for this dreadful face. What I'm going to try to do for the face is take this concealer and put it all over my face, blending it out. And I'm going to try to find a the lightest shade setting powder I have. And I think I have some white Laura Mercier. And I think I have a NYX white setting powder. I have a loose powder and I have a pan powder. So we'll see how this works. Um, and then I might... Um, what she did in her video for extra coverage is she added that white eyeshadow and highlighted her face. So I might do that too. And here we go. She only put, uh, she used her P. Louise base, which was um, an eye primer. So I guess this is a little bit better, but she just used a thin layer. Um, so maybe it won't be as bad. We'll see. Okay, so I have my Laura Mercier. This was just like a little, I spent a lot of money. So they gave me like this free translucent powder. So it's pretty white, so I'm gonna use that. And then I have the NYX uh, HD Finishing Powder. Since the concealer did oxidize a little bit, I'm gonna be taking the white shade in the Blood Sugar Palette, and I'm gonna be adding that to the high points of my face, giving it that more white and highlighted effect so it's still a glam look. For her contour, she just took the, whatever is the rest on her bronzer brush, and she lightly dusted it in the places that she needs it or normally would. For highlighter, since we have a very white face, we need a very bright highlighter. I'm going in with one of my favorites. It's the Milani Trio in the shade Pearl. And let me tell you, you, you know what? Just watch. taking the elf fluffy eye blender brush and then i'm gonna be taking the ailey palette uh, then i'm gonna be taking the alien palette i cannot freaking talk today and i'm gonna be taking abduction and just barely tapping into flying i thought that said flying savage uh mm. um just mixing those two and i'm gonna be taking this and bouncing it on my forehead not in really a particular way, just bouncing it to make it all look gross.
to kind of deepen up the cheekbones and where I need to contour, I'm going to be taking, I don't know how well it's going to go. In her video, it was a different grain, so maybe it'll add a more gross factor. I don't know. But this is Top Secret in the Morphe X Jaclyn Hill palette. In one of my videos, I said I've never used this, and I haven't, so I guess this is the time to use it. She made splats with a neon liner, but I don't have one of those. So I think I'm going to stick with the standard green. And just make little dots and splatters and gross stuff. I'm going to try to mix this yellow and green. If it doesn't work, I'm just going to leave it off. I don't like that part though. I'm now going to be adding the same little, well, I did an acid drop here. Hi. I'm going to be adding um, the shade I'm Royalty to the lips to make it a glam. Beetlejuice. Glam them up. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Time for the hair. My gross hair, because I'm immediately taking a shower after this, because it's gross. I'm going to be taking a white face paint, and I'm going to be, so it doesn't stick my hair, giving it that effect, you know what I mean? miss green but we're gonna do it for this video we're gonna do it um if any of you did not know if you want to go check out my actual instagram modesty and modesty dot and um i used to have blonde hair and when you dye it and you get in the pool it turns green and you have to get it out with ketchup so me and green don't get along if you have blonde hair and it turns green from pool water put ketchup in it and it gets it out you have to let it set for like three times, but it gets it out. This honestly really is a quick and like simple little look that you can do. Let's see if I have a black and white shirt that's striped. Hold on, hold on. I used to have like a collared one, but this is all I have right now, and I can't go find one at Goodwill because my boyfriend has my car right now. So. I keep looking at myself in the mirror. Ah! <laughs> I love this. Alrighty, guys. Oh my gosh. I can't believe I actually did this. And I really hope this doesn't stain anything on my face or hair or body. So, shout out to whoever told me to do this. Because I had so much fun with it. And... Uh, I will put the original person I saw it from, the video I watched. Um, mine is a little bit different, but um, it's a Kaleida MUA. I don't know how to say her name. It's, she's from a different country, I think. But um, I will link her down below. Um, go watch her video. She's funny. I am going to be trying to do first everyone's... Like, someone sent me this. And today, it was just a good look. Like, someone sent me something before her, but... I'm gonna try to do that next. I'm gonna be doing y'all's request first and then do like different stuff, but I wanna get y'all's request in first. Um, and request number one, done. <laughs> I'm so glad I actually did this. this. I think it turned out amazing. As always guys, thank you so much for watching and supporting me and I'll see you guys in the next one.